has all the powers and duties of the sheriff. He doesn't have the salary, cannot call himself the sheriff, but he has all the powers and duties. It is possible that if you didn't do anything for the whole year, somebody could bring a, a writ action to compel you saying you waited forever and we want an order that you appoint somebody. Okay. So there's no penalty in the sense that the authority exists, but the law does state that the board shall appoint a, uh, a replacement to be sheriff uh, within a reasonable time after a vacancy, if that's not too opaque. My understanding was that uh, until uh, under Sheriff Beatley's retirement, uh, that Greg was kind of in a capacity where he wasn't officially appointed under Sheriff. Essentially, I believe so is that, that would be correct. Is that where you are right now? Are you are you officially the under sheriff now, or where, what's that status? There's, or do we know? There's there's nobody to no to, to do that. Anymore. The sheriff and under sheriff have retired by default per the government code. I occupy the position of being responsible for the sheriff's department. I guess what I'm more concerned about even is, are you being paid for this level of responsibility? That's what I want at, not even the undersheriff's pay. Right. So what's the pleasure of the board? Do we well, wish to make an appointment now, or? I'd like to change that status and get you paid what I did. I'd make a motion that uh, Greg Knight would be appointed to fill the unexpired term of uh, sheriff. Thank you. As soon as possible. Second. Okay. Um, any further discussion? Okay. Um, all in favor? Let's do a roll. Supervisor Swafford? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Feature? Yes. Olson? Yes. Yes. Congratulations. The train <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 